Another tip on using your Samsung Galaxy Tab S series, either the 8.4 or even the 10.5, is the ability to multitask. So as we all know, um, and as you've been experimenting with your tablet, uh, this is your home button. This will always take you to the home screen. But if you have been using one of the programs, be it a word processing program, or even if you're in the App Store, it's really quick and easy to get back. So all you have to do is you see this little button right here. This is your uh, multitasking button. And this will open all the applications that you had available uh, previously. So I was in H Word a couple of seconds ago, and you notice how I was able to go back. And if I want to go back to the Play Store, I can. And if I want to go back to H Word, I can simply just go back and forth. Of course, if I want to go home, I can actually go home. Now, one other thing that you can do with multitasking is that you can actually, having these programs all here ready and for you to be able to jump uh, between either your settings, your searching, your Play Store, is the fact that it consumes memory. So, if you look at our task manager, you'll notice that these things are consuming memory. Now, while the Tab S series, both the 10.5 and the 8.4, have around 3 gigs of RAM for processing um, and has a lot of space, um, occasionally you may feel that your tablet is going slow, so you may want to end um, one of these tasks. So again, in order to go there, all you do is you go here, and as you're doing your multitasking, you could tap on your task manager, and then what you could do is actually um, um, end those tasks so you can free up some memory. The other thing you can do is just choose close all and that's going to get rid of all the icons here there at the bottom so that you can free up all the memory of your tablet if you at all find that it's running slowly. So that's how you multitask and then also how you close programs.